Welcome to the Purim Show. I'm coming to you from the In Their Own Words Museum here in Purim, and my first guest is actually from the Purim Area Public Library, the director, Susan Heuser Ladwig. Thanks so much for being with us on the Purim Show. Thanks for having me today. Must be the time of the year when we start talking summer reading programs yes. for those kids getting out. So why don't you just launch into the theme and what's going to be going on in Purim this year? We have a lot of exciting things planned at the summer uh, for the summer reading program at the library this summer. And every year our program just seems to get bigger and better. So we really invite all you kids, everyone who has children, um, from birth to seventh, eighth, ninth grade, stop over at the library and see what we have going on. I'll just kind of cover a couple of the items um, sure. that we have going on. And this is visiting Lake Lake uh, tourists to the area too, right? It is. You can it's, come on it's, in and grandparents and mm -hmm. residents. But I do want to let grandparents know that if you have if you have grandchildren visiting the area this summer, they are welcome. Our summer reading program runs through the months of June and July. And you don't have to register right at the beginning. You can come in and participate at any time during those two months. And visitors to the area are just as welcome as our residents. That's great. And the kickoff is June 1st. June 1st. That's when our registration starts and when our programs start to kind of um, take, take up speed at that point. What, uh, what day of the week do those programs happen? Most of our, our open programs are available on Tuesdays, Tuesday okay. afternoons during the months of June and July. Those are the programs where we have a, a performer or an entertainer come in okay. and do kind of an hour-like program for any children that want to come in and, and participate. Occasionally, we do have a program that requires pre-registration because maybe it's a craft activity. Okay, sure. And so we need to know how many um, supplies and things to have on hand. But if you just call the library or check out our website, you can see a list of those things and you'll also see if pre-registration is necessary. If that isn't listed, then you can just stop in and participate with everyone else. Most of the times, uh, most of the time you can just, you know, come in and out and Tuesday mornings you probably still have the, do you have the preschool story? Time on Tuesday mornings? Mm -hmm. We at do. 10 15, at 10.15, right? At 10.15, okay. every Tuesday morning we have story time and everyone is welcome to attend that. It is kind of geared toward preschool mm -hmm. age, but you know, we invite families to come in you know, as a unit and, and sit and listen as well, so anyone is welcome. What are some of the programs that you're excited about? What, I know you do some wild and crazy yeah. things at the Perm Library, so yeah. what are you doing this summer? Well, first of all, I do want to mention we have a number of book clubs available for different age levels. Okay. We have a book club for third and fourth grade and a book club for fifth and sixth grade. And those particular book clubs meet weekly and they kind of read the book together and discuss it as they go along. We call those our lunch bunch book clubs. Okay. And so, and they each take place on a different day. I believe third and fourth grade will be on Tuesdays and fifth and sixth grade will be on Wednesdays. And we do ask people to come in and sign up for that so that we're able to provide the books for that and we know how many books to provide. We are also trying something new this year. We're going to have a teen or a young adult book club. And that is going to be um, kind of organized more on the lines of the library's regular monthly book club for adults. So we invite all teens who are interested in participating in a book club to come on in and talk to us about that. That'll meet once a month. We'll be reading three books, um, one book in June, one book in July, and one book in August. And then we'll get together once a month and we'll discuss each of those books as the time comes up. Well, so that's, that's a, a new thing for us and we're kind of excited about well, it. Well, yeah, I know you do have a teen read kind of program in the uh, in the wintertime often, the, the, what is it, hot reads for cold nights yeah. or something like that. But, but uh, yeah, that kind of is a good idea to keep those kids sharp with their reading skills throughout the summer too. Mm -hmm. And that is the, the importance of the summer reading program. That's one of the reasons we do the summer reading program is it, it's been shown to help children with their reading skills if during the summer break when they're away from school, they are still doing some reading. Sure. That just gets them set up for their next grade in the fall. And so mm -hmm. it's very important that, that they participate mm -hmm. in things like this. Well, I know that you've got art shows going on over at the library. You've got Bob Cummings exhibit uh, right now. And we've got maybe 30 seconds left, Susan. So okay. if you have a, a special program or something that you want to give a shout out to or a phone number, it would be a good time. In addition to the art exhibit of Robert Cummings in our meeting room, we also have a little exhibit um, from Quilts of Valor this month. Oh, okay. So if, if, please stop 
stop in and take a look at that. If you need more information on the library and its programs, um, you can find us on the internet at www.perm.lib.mn.us. Or you can call us at 346-4892. Very good. Always great to have you, Susan, at, on the Perm Show. And boy, they've got so many things going on. So make sure you check out the Perm Area Public Library. Stay with us. We're going to be right back talking about In Their Own Words Museum. Welcome back to the Perm Show. We are here at the In Their Own Words Museum in Perm. And my guest is the building coordinator, Millie Lauer. Thanks, Millie, for being with us on the Perm Show. Well, thank you for having me. Now, we're going to uh, talk about uh, Memorial Day and the, the celebrations and, and things that go on all over the place, but especially here at what we fondly refer to as the Veterans Museum. OK. Well, we do have a big day planned. Yes. Um, I understand that you've already talked about our waffle breakfast yes. that begins at we, 7 o'clock in the morning. The Belgian waffles, all you can eat. Oh, Come on wonderful. Here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> our Memorial Day program starts at 10 o'clock. It will be the traditional Memorial Day program. We have special music. We have a special guest speaker. The Perm High School Band, some parts of them will be taking place with the program. Okay. Um, the traditional VFW ritual will be presented. Is that with the salutes, the guns? And we have the taps, yes, yeah. yes. Okay. And all the uh, roll call of departed comrades will be read. And we light a candle for each departed comrade. Okay. Um, the VFW, then the American Legion, both post and auxiliaries take part in it. Okay. Um, now, let me just um, break in here mm -hmm. for a minute, Millie. I, the, the, I know that we said that the waffle deal starts at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. right here, right? Yes. And now when does the when do the programs happen? The program starts at 10 o'clock. Okay. The waffle breakfast will continue till noon, but it is in the dining room in the back area, so it will not interfere with the program. Okay. Um, there will be free admission to everyone that day to the museum. So if you've never been here, come on down. Enjoy the museum, enjoy the program, and eat some delicious waffles. Well, it is wonderful. It's a great museum, and, and I, my, my dad and I came uh, over last year on one of the days that, that you have. You always offer free admission for veterans, right? Yes, we do. Every, yes. every, every day, and yeah. we're open um, 361 days a year, actually. So, okay. And we have free admission every day to the veterans. And there are a few uh, a few t days of the year that veterans can be accompanied by, you know, with other people, and they don't pay. That's correct. That's um, Memorial Day, Fourth of July, Veterans Day. Okay, and uh, I was going to say that the exhibits then are they all going to be open just as as usual on Memorial Day? The exhibits will all be open. The commentary in the large gallery will not be playing in the morning because of the program, but that will be started right after the program as well. We'll also be having a bake sale by the ladies' auxiliaries. Oh, man. So that'll be going on, too, so come and get your goodies as well. Well, yeah, and come and get them early, yes. I'm sure. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. I know that we've, we've, talked, about the, uh, we've talked about the waffle breakfast and, and people, waffles and sausage, and, and uh, people who may not be able to hang around. They might be on their way back to the cities or, or the Fargo-Moorhead area, but they can still come in for that breakfast. And, and uh, um, will the museum be open before 10 or...? Yes, I'm, I'm sure it will be. We okay. haven't set an exact time, but I'm thinking we'll have it open by 9 at least. Okay, so people will have a chance, even if they're going to have a quick breakfast and get on the road, they'll have a chance to, to breeze least. through and, yes, yeah, and at least see what we have to offer and yeah. plan a date to come back. And the program at 10? At starts 10 o'clock. All right. When we're finished here, we do go out and do the program, a short version of the program for those lost to see on the bridge on Highway 8. Okay. So. Sounds wonderful. And everybody is welcome to that too if they'd like. Okay, um, do you have a phone number, Millie? Our phone number is 218-346-7678. Okay, well. And you can always leave a message and we will get back to you if no one is here to take the call. Well, Millie, thank you so much You're for welcome. being with us thank on the Perm Show and all the work you do with the uh, BFW Auxiliary and the building coordinator here. Thank you for tuning into the Perm Show and don't forget to stop on over on Memorial Day. <laughs>